Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at really interesting setup. Uh, actually, it's a shopping cart that some of you guys sent me. Uh, actually, it was some uh, of my Italian okay followers, but you know the video. Uh, it's the same between the two channels that I have, but I think it would be really cool. I mean, it's not an Italian thing at all. So I ordered the things that I had in this cart from Strumenti Musicali. .net. So we have an Ibanez TS9, kind of standard, okay. Then we have the Universal Audio, the Dream, okay. Really cool pedal indeed. I love these uh, Universal Audio pedals. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it was uh, upside down, okay. Really, really cool. Can't wait to try it out. I tried the Ruby and it was awesome. I tried this one just like for few minutes and I really like that so really curious you know to stress it out and try it out properly then we have uh, the MXR Univibe okay it's nice pedal here and then the Jimi Hendrix the mini fuzz face distortion pedal this one and finally these big box is the Vox. Seems like a, a shoe <laughs> something. <laughs> okay, the Wawa pedal. Uh, really nice indeed. So um, maybe you have already an idea of which guitar player I'm talking about. Maybe not. But I will show you the guitar also that I ordered from Sormenti Musicali.net. As you can see, this is a uh, PRS, Boris Smith, Silver Sky SE, John Mayer signature model, but we're gonna we're not gonna talk about John Mayer today. But another guitar player that actually has been seen with a Silver Sky, really into blues, Hendrix, and Silver Yvonne type of music, and maybe you know already who I'm talking about, a really great guitar player. I love his playing. So I'm trying. Uh, I will try to, you know, get close to that kind of sound with all this gear. Anyway, I forgot to order also cables and, you know, uh, power supply and everything. So give me a minute. I mean, you will see already the thing already done. And so see you now. Okay, so this is the pedal board that I just made. Beautiful pedals. Indeed, there's also the Wawa, but it's outside of the pedal board because, you know, it's big. <laughs> so the core of this pedal board for sure is this Universal Audio Dream 65 rever reverb amp. And I don't know if you're familiar with Universal Audio pedals, but I think that they are doing a stellar job regarding uh, amp in a box kind of pedals. I already tried the Ruby, kind of an emulation of a Vox AC30. And this dream is absolutely fantastic as well. I know there are other competitors, uh, really famous Strymon Iridium, for example, that actually uh, includes three different amplifiers. And here with Universal Audio, you just have one, you know? So maybe many of you would be, oh, I don't want to spend, I don't know, 300, 400 bucks for, uh, a pedal like that one because I would like to have other amplifiers but you know let me telling you first of all this pedal takes other pedals in front of it in an awesome way it feels real it feels really amazing I love how these pedals uh, this line of pedals sound that I, everything is so you know it's so nerdy in a way that I just like this concept and I'd rather have just one amplifier but it, that's really incredibly well made instead of having you know others kind of you know different type of uh, amplifiers that are good but not with this level of you know nerdiness okay I love the Strymon Radium don't get me wrong and other stuff as well I made a video already about it but I don't know, I just like this way of being really like a kind of obsessed with the thing. I don't know, and it's beautiful, it works great. 
I love it. Uh, so this is how this pedal sound, okay? Let me just listen to this tone. It's, it's a gorgeous, clean tone. I mean, uh, we always kind of um, say that in amp modeling, it's really hard to make the kind of breakup tones uh, acceptable or, you know, like the real amps. I think that this pedal does a stellar job in this fashion. I mean, it's clean, but it kind of it's breaking up in a really awesome way. Wow, just amazing. And of course you have different parameters, parameters that you can change and tweak, you know, the volume, so you will have more gain, uh, the reverb, the general output, bass, treble, a booster, like a built-in boost, if you want to crank it up even more, uh, you, can, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> Okay, I think there are also different type of uh, boosters. Let's see, detox. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's this one. Yeah. So different type of boosters and, you know, it's, I think you can tell that everything, uh, the, the response is great, the harmonics, I mean, if I had to, if I had to buy um, an amp in a box pedal, I would definitely go for one of these. I haven't tried the Lion yet. I'm really curious to try it out because it seems like a really nice and I'm kind of into Marshall type of tones as well. So maybe it will be featured on this channel in the next videos. So if you kindly want to subscribe to my channel, it would be really appreciated. Uh, it would be really helpful for me, so thank you very much if you do so. Moving on, you know, the perfect match if you don't want to use the booster that's on board of the Dream. So if I step on the Tube Screamer... Amazing! I mean, there's no clipping, no nothing, I'm really, you know, punching hard the universal audio and it behaves really great, I think, okay? So this is kind of a Texas. Kind of Texas blues type of tone. Oh, I forgot, maybe I haven't mentioned yet uh, which guitar players we're trying to emulate. Um, can you guess it? Well, I, I think you can. It's not Steve Ray Vaughan either that was trying to uh, make an impression, but since I'm using a Silver Sky and it's not John Mayer, we're trying to recreate, you know, the type of tone that Philip says would use. I've just um, watched a few videos. I love Philip, like he's a really an amazing player. So 
um, you know, you can excuse my sloppy playing. Uh, he's a really an amazing, an amazing guitar player and really inspiring and absolutely great. But basically, the kind of tones that he has, they are really uh, it's kind of Hendrixy type of tones. It's a mixture between Jimmy and Steve Ray Vaughan. So you can definitely see that the pedals I have here kind of a mixture between, you know, Stevie Ray and Hendrix, uh, sort of good stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, so Tube Screamer works absolutely, absolutely fine. And of course you can, if you have a real Fender amplifier, you can use the pedals that I'm showing you without the universal audio and you should have pretty much the kind of the same tone, okay? Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using the EV12 IR because apparently uh, Philip says he's using an EV speaker as well and I think it's the, my favorite one. Then, uh, if you're into fuzz as well, uh, I have a fuzz face mini here for real Hendrix, you know, kind of psychedelia. <laughs> I mean, how wonderful is the fuzz, right? You can go for totally crazy gain, uh, gain stuff to almost perfectly clean with just, you know, turning the volume. I mean, this setup, it's kind of organic. I mean, it promotes to play in that way. I love it. I love it. It's really, really nice, okay? And then if you want to have a little bit more psychedelia, you can use the Univibe for instant Hendrixy type of, you know, uh, tones. <laughs> Really nice sound as well. You can choose between two modes, the vibe mode and the chorus mode. This is the chorus one. Probably this is the more Hendrixy one. Yeah, probably, right? Definitely more vibey. I don't know why it's called vibey though. Anyway, it's just an awesome modulation type of effect. Don't you agree? There's something magic about it. This kind of shape, you know. Let me just put a fuzz as well. Let me try with the vibe mode. <laughs> it's just crazy, right? I mean, it's awesome how you can 
make different types of tones just with the, with the volume knob of the guitar. It's something that maybe nowadays it's not uh, that popular. Then I also have the, uh, okay, so the Vox is there and I actually have to stomp on it. Like I have to get up, otherwise I can't move it, can't turn it on. Wow. Let's turn on the fuzz as well. There are different, different kind of uh, setup. Usually, the fuzz should be the first pedal, but there are some pictures of Jimmy playing with the wah first and then the the fuzz. So whatever you like, I put it this way because it's more comfortable for this pedal board. I don't know. Let me know which setup would you prefer. Anyway, I think these tones are, they are already great like per se, but if you want to hear them in a context, uh, this is just a little reel that I made. find these real on my Instagram account and um, if you want to follow me over there as well I would be really thankful and as you could hear I think that even with a backing track that I made for this video the tones are super real okay so even with this kind of setup it's kind of a vintage type of you know a type of sound Sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. I don't know what you think about it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you be able to uh, distinguish this tone for a real mic up amplifier? I don't think I would, but let me know if, you're, uh, if your ears are better than mine. Also the guitar. I think the Silver Sky, it's kind of amazing. And honestly, I think that the Silver Sky, this is the SE model, the Indonesian version. I think it's a really great bang for the buck. It's one of the best strut type of strut type guitar that you can purchase under a thousand dollars, pounds, euro, whatever. Uh, especially if you're searching for kind of vintage type of tones. This is not like a super strut or something like that. It sounds kind of vintagey to me, uh, but it's in a more like a rounded way. I think it sounds amazing. I really like the, this guitar. It feels great. The frets are perfect. And also I have to say that this color is kind of really cool indeed. I like these colors. 
um, maybe the first Silver Sky edition, the SE, the colors were a little bit too, I don't know, too saturated in a way. I didn't like them much. While this one, yeah, totally. Uh, I know there's the plastic that I should take away, but I had to send back the guitar to the shop, so it's probably better not to. So yeah, great guitar indeed. If you like some of these pedals, you can check out the links in the description down below. Those links will redirect you to strumentimusicali.net that, really, that I'm really thankful for to help me out making this video possible. And again, if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't done already, please do so. It would be really appreciated. And yeah, I think it's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Ciao!